Hi, I'm Amy from the Skokie Public Library. If you're interested in 3D printing at the library, you'll need to fill out and submit a 3D printing request form. Today, I'm going to show you how to request a 3D print using the online form. First, you will need an STL file. An STL file, or a standard tessellation language file, is a type of 3D file. Our 3D printers only work with STL files. If you don't have your own design, you can find one on Thingiverse. Thingiverse is an online community of 3D designers who upload their own designs or remix designs for you to freely use. You can either browse by certain collections. So if you click on all things, then you'll see different headings like fashion, where you can find some earrings, or household, where maybe you need some, something for your pet. Or if you know what you want, you can search for a specific design. So I'm in need of some chip clips. So that's what I'll search for. And then I can see the variety of files available. And once I find one I like, I'll click on the image to open up the full design page to see all the details. Looks good to me. I can see different pictures. So in real life versus what it looks like as a preview on a printing platform. And then once I determine that's the one I want, I'll click on Thing Files, make sure that it's a .stl file before I click Download. Now the library's printers can only use STL files. If the file you find isn't correct and you submit it anyway, that's okay. Staff will follow up with you and we'll try to find an alternative. Once I click download, the file will actually go into my downloads folder and you'll want to double check where your downloads folder is on your computer. And now I'm ready to submit a print request form. If you would like to design your own STL file, we have recommended resources listed on the 3D printing page. Once you have your file that you'd like to submit for your print request, you'll want to go back to your browser and you'll go to the library's website, which is skokielibrary.info. From the library's homepage, find resources, then find studio. On the studio page, you'll scroll down to the 3D printing section and you can click on the make your request link, which will take you to our 3D printing request form. For the form, you'll fill out your name, your email address. If you're under 13, have an adult fill this part out. We also ask for a phone number, just in case your email bounces. We want to make sure you get your 3D print. Then click Choose File to upload your 3D print file. Mine is in my Downloads folder. And if I click on it, my computer actually shows a preview. Yours might not, and that's OK. Just double check that the file name is correct and that it is the .stl file type and then you can click Upload. If your file is a replacement part or needs to be a specific size, you can select No in this next question asking about scaling down the file to meet our print time restrictions. A staff person will follow up with you if the file does not meet our time and or size restrictions. The print restrictions are listed in the description below this video. You can add any comments or notes that might be helpful for staff including the link to the Thingiverse file you found. This is really helpful if the design you found has multiple parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the link for my chip clip just in case. We cannot accommodate requests for specific colors of filament. I'm gonna add a little thank you. Then you can click Submit once and review your confirmation notice. The studio staff will email you when your print is ready for pickup. This may take up to one to two weeks depending on demand.